Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover from one from Eminem Associate and Detroit rapper Mr. Porter and Lazarus. And they recently spoke on their collaboration scalpel that turned out to be Lazarus's most successful solo single so far, produced by Mr. Porter. They also spoke on Eminem's global influence and also the wave to discredit Eminem that in my opinion hit overdrive after Eminem dropped Revival in 2017 and we'll get to more on this in a bit as I believe Mr. Porter summed it up nicely with very few words. Today we also have one that came out of left field that shocked fans on the web as Eminem continues to promote the 25th anniversary of the Slim Shady LP to the point that you'd think he just dropped an album and this got Kim Kardashian's attention which we'll expand on in a moment. And before we dive in, if you recall, in the last video Nelly sparked wild debates about Eminem when he revealed that the 2000s era of hip hop was the toughest because he had to compete with these juggernauts. DMX, Eminem, Jay Z, Eminem, Lil Wayne, 50 Cent, Luda. Now some hip hop heads got triggered as they singled out Eminem to downplay his run in the 2000s and guess what, this debate is still heated on X, formerly known as Twitter. The push to discredit Eminem continues and here's an exchange that caught our attention, an attempt to rationalize this nonsense that Eminem couldn't compete in the 2000s. It goes, M had more pop appeal than hip hop appeal, he did dominate the overall billboard chart during his run but J D. DMX, Wayne 50, etc. had more impact than him on the rap landscape and culture. In brackets, Radio Street, that's what they meant and this response was golden. Did you want to talk about hip hop artists with pop appeal? J number one hit, Heartbreaking with Mariah Carey, Crazy in Love with Beyonce, Umbrella with Rihanna, Empire State of Mind with Alicia Keys. These are all of Jay-Z's number ones so far in the United States and it is wild how Eminem critics will swear how it is only Eminem who has pop appeal. And in this case, this is the one time we can all agree with Benzino. We're failing as a people. <laughs> and moving on to the main topic today Kim Kardashian reposted this from Eminem that has shocked fans on the web with the caption 25 years later and still legendary. I, have, I just listened to Eminem in her car. It is the most disgusting. It like makes me upset. I'm now nauseous and I can't eat lunch. Goodbye. Now before we get to the reaction so far, for those who don't know the backstory of this kit, it was a real voicemail and to put it on the album Eminem offered Zoe $300 to use it on the album but as the story goes, she opted for dinner with Eminem instead as seen in the article from 1999, Rage Against the Past. Eminem is a former skinny white kid who raps with a vengeance where Zoe flipped the script on Eminem when they met. Quote, the whole way down to the restaurant, I was thinking, yo, I'm gonna have to smack this girl, he says. There I was, all ready to defend myself, and then when I got there, she was like, oh, hi, Eminem, it is so nice to meet you. The whole thing just flipped on me. She went from offended to the point she felt nauseous and couldn't eat because of his lyrics to having dinner with Eminem. <laughs> Uh -huh. And singers Kim Kardashian shared this to her 364 million followers. Fans are wondering, Kim Kardashian on Instagram, what the F is going on? Which sparked responses like, that's random as F. And now some are asking, didn't he make fun of her and she's still listening to him? Big respect for having a sense of humor. But she already addressed this over a decade ago. We were talking to Eminem, mm -hmm. by the way, about um his new video, which you're... Yes. Uh, a he Kim gives me a hard time Kardashian. too. I'm, I'm such an Eminem fan. I don't well, look, care. we he talked to him. We wants. talked to him about you. Here's what he said. <laughs> now, how do you feel about Kim Kardashian being honored to be in your video? Uh, some people, you know, might get offended, but she took the other route and she said she can't she's believe, serious. you know, she's the biggest so. fan of yours, and she's very excited. I don't know if she's gonna be honored when the, she when said the it record already. comes out. What? When the actual album comes out, I don't know if she's gonna be honored. But. <laughs> Why not? Nah, nah, I'm kidding. Oh. Um, I think it's cool she she's she took it like a good sport. You know what I mean? I, right. I think it's cool when people do that and they kind of just, you know, just like, oh, that's M. And you did go the right route. Some people get offended, but Kim, 
you know, you're in the spotlight a lot. A lot of people, obviously, the more famous you get, the more people criticize you and, and hate on you. And it seems like you've been a good sport about it all this time. Like my friends emailed me. I remember I got an email from a friend of mine and she's like, girl, you made it. Eminem <laughs> is rapping about you. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. Yeah, because, you know, Eminem. I mean, it could have been worse. What he said, it could have been worse. So I was, I got it easy and I, I'm okay with it. It doesn't really doesn't really faze me. These name drops aren't personal when it comes to Eminem. Sometimes it just rhymes and he includes it for giggles. And this reminds me of when Janice Dickinson reacted when Eminem dropped her name on rainy days. And while it made headlines that she was offended, she concluded back then that she took it as a compliment and added, it is not nice to be dropped into a song in this context, but it is phenomenal to be associated with Eminem in any way possible. In my psyche, because he's a god, I've taken a higher road on being offended by the snarly way he referred to me. Although Hassan threatened to punch Eminem in the face, if I recall. Ugh, wow. And moving on, Mr. Porter and Lazarus recently had a chat on IG Live where they spoke about a couple of things, from their recent song Scalpel all the way to Eminem's global influence. And we gotta find out what Mr. Porter thinks about the wave to discredit Eminem and check it out from Lazarus. Highlights from my live with Mr. Porter discussing Scalpel, DTA with Emmyway, the influence of Eminem and the importance of bars. Full live is on my and Mr. Porter's Instagram pages. And obviously, I, I want to work on more. Projects. You got another record, though. What yeah, other record? record. Yeah. So, so yeah, that, yeah. that other record I got, I, I was actually going to use that for the album I'm doing with my man from India, Emmy Way, okay. from the Detroit okay. to Antifil. So, he's from a place called Antifil in India, and he's like the big, he's, he's big, big time over there, man. And I'm connecting mm. that to Detroit. Okay. And it's going to be the first time something like that ever happened. Um, and I think that's just going to be legendary for international hip hop uh, for, the, for the Indian market because they, they're, they're big over there, man. man. It's crazy. I think it's I think it's going crazy everywhere. Let's let's, let's keep it a buck, man. With, with Eminem coming, it, it basically opened the demographics of hip hop to a whole nother level. And yeah. if much people want to try to credit or discredit a situation, it's like facts are facts, bro. You cannot uh, deny what. Yeah, that that like even that argument. It's like all right, cool, whatever you say. It's, exactly. It ain't it ain't, exactly. it ain't stopping nothing. It exactly. ain't doing nothing. It's like a lot of it is a lot of it is just misplaced. You know misplaced aggression or frustration but right? it's a, so it's like i'm forever grateful because not only did it open those channels internationally but opened up all the channels for detroit i mean as a detroit artist and being born and raised in the city like that created the avenues bro yeah you know what i mean y'all 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 open those channels up for us to, to come out here and, and to be recognized and for detroit to be recognized the way it, the way it is today so it's yeah. just a wonderful it was, thing it was a ride it's been a ride we yeah. still and it's ongoing. Still going, still, still going. It, it just never stops. So, it's, you know, it's amazing. I yeah. think things are fizzling it out. Like you know, the the mindless content is kind of fizzling out. Yeah. And then the skill level is, the skill level is always going to be the thing that people people go to. That's why you have a fan base. You got a thousand people in here. That's because you represent something that, that's that's not just it's not fly by night, right? Absolutely. And I, that's another Absolutely. reason why I don't do a lot of, um, I don't do a lot of records like. Is because if first of all, if I can out rap you, I don't really, I don't really want to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't really. I'm still like with my pen. I still like. I still work like that. Like I still am trying to prove things. Um, and you did that the way that it was supposed to be done. I knew you weren't gonna file it up or nothing. I knew it was gonna be like dope. You know what I mean? Sure. So. It, it made sense. And Lazarus has been very vocal about Eminem's influence. In fact, a few days ago, he shared this. Benzino stays on the polarizing black slash white politics of Eminem. But as a brown man, I can tell you, none of that can take away from his elite position in hip hop and his elite penmanship. Big homie put on for my city like none other. If you recall, even Royce already addressed those who ask, what has Eminem done for the community? When he broke it down and explained how every single lyrical rapper in Detroit got a record deal after Eminem blew up. We covered this in detail in a previous video. Check it out if you missed it. But whenever these receipts are pulled up, the detractors go bird box mode. Wait a few weeks and regurgitate the tight talking points. That will be all for today. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.